Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Hort9, and welcome to another episode of the Lou Wanderer's Career Mode. Season 3, Episode 2. As we're in the second half of the season, things are really spicing up. As we're currently first, fighting for that automatic place, as Huddersfield and as well as that, some other teams are literally breathing down my neck for that first place spot. So promotion fight going into the second half of the season is going to be very crucial. As well as that, we've got some other games I'm going to be showing you in today's episode. But that's later. As we go into the squad since it's January. Um, yeah, I see one problem. That's the left back, mainly. He hasn't been the best signing. He just so bad at tackling, honestly. Apart from that, I can't see much improvements I want to make to the squad. I don't want to jinx it or anything. And looking at the budget, we've still got a lot of money from the Philippe Montez sale. So we've got a really good, decent amount of money. But I want to save that for next season, to be fair. As we kick off our first game of the match highlights and we get underway with the Cornwall v Devon Derby <laughs> and we're taking on the best and by far supreme club of Devon that is Plymouth Argyle in the FA Cup. I don't show you much FA Cup games because I sim them and lose but this one I just had to play. Oh Plymouth Argyle the team that I support can Lou Wanderers prove that we're the most supreme club down south and things went absolutely well for us as buckley threw balls at terrible defending and Nortman's shot got saved but so close it just had to go in it was such a tight angle but Nortman was able to squeeze it he scores from anywhere inside that box as we make it 1-0 on the first goal scored by the welsh super striker Nortman. but seconds later this is why plymouth are so good just inside the box, passing it long to Wilson. Wilson passed it short to Matthew. Lovely back heel. And afterwards, it's crossed in and Camera. Currently, my favourite Plymouth player just happened to score against me, making it 1-1. Alright, less kissing up. We need to start pushing on for win. We need to stop focusing on favouritism and getting the result. So, we had to push on. As Buckley sees the run of Norman and Norman squeezed through like he's made out of butter. And Norman squeezed it also past the goalkeeper to make it 2 wide as we take the lead. Norman kicking off the match highlights with sensational style. But sadly, Plymouth got the last laugh as it's into Grant right there. And we do had to do the marking of the left back as he was falling asleep. Dance his way through, pass a short into Luke. Luke into Camera again, and it's 2-2. <sighs> that was the final score. We couldn't get another one past him. 2-2, so that means we have to go to Home Park and try and get a result out of there. But on to the league, as we take on Blackpool in our first game of the season. And Norman, oh, good strike right there. I thought it didn't go in for a sec because it rebounded out. But Norman strike making it 1-0 past Blackpool as the Tangerines are gone rotten. But moments later, Blackpool had a chance. And even though they were down to 10 men, they're able to squeeze it past my defence. Awful tackle right there. And the shot from Ward, it was a clear goal. Terrible tackle. I missed on that so badly and they punished me as it's 1-1. And then things got a lot more worse. As Ward aim in the box, twisting around my defense have fallen asleep, turns and uh 2-1. They were down to 10 men, but they got themselves a goal ahead. And then to wrap things off for Blackpool, dancing around, making awful work on my defense, and I don't know what my keeper was doing there. He decided to sit down. 3-1. Not the best start for our promotion campaigns as we took a devastating loss at the Harbour Moon. So we had to take on the replay against Plymouth Argyle in the FA Cup. It's at their ground at Home Park so we had to push on. Walker then spots the rush into Ryan and Ryan able to get the shot. I was going to say I had to play a quote rotational squad due to the fact it was in midweek. But Ryan back to goal scoring ways. And then to secure the win over Plymouth. It's through ball into Ramsey. Ramsey all the time in the world. The shot so low in the far post. 
making it 2-0. But we've got a 100% unbeaten run against Devon Clubs. As we look at the scoreboard, seeing 5 to Cornwall, 0 to Devon. Next up, Odin's second place, Huddersfield Town. As we're at their ground now, I'm not going to be really interrupted on like in the last episode. But Norman though, got the gap and he's got himself the goal. Look at all those travelling Cornwall supporters supporting their team for Lou Wanderers, making it 1-0 against Huddersfield Town. As we have a corner in the 77th minute, could this be enough to secure the win? It's whipped in and Aikens able to get it off the crossbar and in. 2-0 and that's a very crucial free point against Huddersfield Town and that is going to be a huge help for us for the promotion race. Next up Ernest we welcome Ipswich Town the Tractor Boys at the Harbour Moon as Norman able to get himself in the box you know what that means it means a goal ladies and gentlemen 1-0 against the Tractor Boys as Norman has just been on Fire! League 1, League 2, Championship! Heck, I want to take this guy to the Premier League and see what work he does there. As we push on for a second, Smith spots a run into Nortman. Nortman, oh my god, those tractor boys just couldn't learn to mark. As we make it 2-0, as Nortman could secure another win for us. And that's going to be a very crucial win for us. But in the second half, it went hell. As there's a good save right there, but the rebound, Aikens, you sod. You had to do a lot better than that. 2-1. And things didn't get a lot better. As they got themselves a corner, and this is one of the worst goals I've ever conceded. As it's crossed in, and both of my players had to go up for the man up close. They whip it in, that's an open header. Honestly, that's so terribly marked. As we were two goals up. And it's 2-2. As they got themselves another corner. Passing it short this time. I learnt my mistake from last time. They are able to do well. Passing it short. Dribble around. Crossed in. And gas. Bassy. Gassy. Bassy. I don't care what your name is. You fuck. You've given away. Anyway. I should have brought a left back in January. I thought I'll give you another chance. And he just handballs it clearly. Giving away a penalty. And they could complete their comeback. Oh you... Son of a gun. Alright, they step up for the penalty. They're going to score. No, nope, Boys Clark saves it. Thanks, Boys Clark. I owe you one. 2-2, two -two it ended. Not the best result. Dope, our next opponent is Wickham Wanderers. Let's try and get a much better result. As it's through ball into Norman and Norman scores. That's all we got to do. Just pass Norman in the box and his shots are going to go in one way or another. 1-0 against Wickham. And I desperately don't want to screw this one up. As we're able to get ourselves a free kick outside the area. 24 yards up. We pass it short. And Buckley shot. Wow. Wow. Does that count as a free kick goal? I'm pretty sure it does. But Buckley, beautiful goal. First time strike past David Stockdale. That is more than enough to secure us three points. After coming back from a devastated 2-2 draw. As our final opponents of the match highlights, we took on the Tigers. Hull City, as we're passing that lovely short right here. Through ball into Buckley. Buckley on humongous form right here. Buckley all by himself. Pass it short to Norman, and Norman has scored. Brilliant combination. Buckley, who's been on fire this second half of the season. He desperately wants promotion. And to secure and wrap up these match highlights, Buckley again in the box, dribbles round. Pass it to Holmes and Holmes goes for top corner. 2-0. Get in there. No comebacks. They're not getting themselves back in this game. Crucial 2-0 win. I will take that very so much. Let's go into the live game. Live game now and uh, yeah, I didn't expect us to go this far in this competition. In the FA Cup, I simmed it and I wanted to get knocked out because, no offence, my goal isn't FA Cup in League One. That's more of a Championship or Premier League goal. Um, but this competition, the Papa John's Trophy, I simmed it all the way and we're able to get ourselves in the final. Heck, I'll take it. It's another piece of silverware and it's the first time New Wanderers go to Wembley. So that's going to be humongous for us. So I'll take that very so much. We're against Cheltenham Town. It's going to be hard this game. I'm not going to take this game lightly. As we're coming out now. 
Oh my, holy crap, but look how many corner supporters turned up. Wow, this might give some new ideas to the board. Y you know what, forget about that. The players, this is going to be nerve-wracking because it's the first time in their scenario they're going to be playing in front of a huge, roaring crowd with a trophy on the line. It's not the best. It's a rubbish trophy, I'm not going to lie. But it's still silverware, and it's a really good tester for Wembley. Okay, they got a ball from the midfield area. Well, I need to be proven well when it comes to defence because my defence has been likely not the most impressive. Rego passing it. Short shot! Oh, just over. Woo! And up. Uh, up, uh, they got an injury. Yikes. Not the best start for Cheltenham Town, but that shot could have been very deadly if it was on target. Okay. Ellie. Ellie coming in into Buckley. Buckley into Norman. Norman twists. Norman sees a chance. It's shot. It's clear handball. That's clear handball. We've got ourselves a penalty. Oh, yeah, that's why I turned handball on, because that's the most clearest stonewall handball I've ever seen. Blocks it with its hands, and we've got ourselves a penalty, folks. This is a good way to get 1-0 up. Smith, you've been quiet so far for me. Come on, Smith. Gonna go left. Oh, yes! Oh, God, he squeezed that pass. 1-0! Smith just had to be a Cornish boy to get the first goal for Lou Wanderers. 1-0, and that is the best start possible. Get in! Okay, they've got the ball. Evan's going to boot this long. Now, oh god, I just hit it to him. I was going to say, half time's just around the corner, and I don't want them getting a goal just before half time. All right, passing it short. Vassin passes it short to May. May's able to keep himself onside. Come on, defenders, get to him. Atkins failed to get to him, dancing away through, one to Parson, it's over the time now, pass it short and we're... Where do you fucking idiot? Where do you fucking idiot? That's the clearest handball ever, you fucking idiot! Oh, God, just... Count the tendril and count the fucking... You, why? Why are you juggling with your hands? Ugh, they've got themselves a penalty. Just before half time, three minutes are added on here, folks. Come on, boys, clock. I need you to save a penalty more than ever. Oh, no. 1-1. One, one. We do. Once we get back in that half time lock, you're going to get fucking scolding. Oh, nothing boys, clock could do. That was a good penalty. And they've got themselves all squared just before half time. As we pass this short. And, yeah, half time. I was going to say, not a bad result, 1-0, but no, we do. You had just had to fuck it up. You just had to fuck it up. Honestly, can you do anything? Oh, just, never mind. Uh, we need to push on the second half as they're getting a bit more dangerous now. Come on, Lou, let's push on. Holmes on the ball. Holmes passes short to Buckley. Buckley twisting around. Buckley, come on, Buckley, trying to get a chance. Buckley passes short to Norman. Norman, great chance. And oh, no. Oh, he denied Norman. Evans, no, you prick. Oh, just so close out. And, oh, that's a good save from their goalkeeper. Okay, Thomas on the ball. Passing it short. Oh, no, I don't want to get back in this. Good block. Where do, where do, do something good for once. All right, pass it short to Casalo. Casalo into where do, where do, through balls. And, oh, Norman, great opportunity. Pass it short to Smith, Smith, save. No. I think he's offside, he is. Why did I just not go for I was just, I saw Smith there and I want the guaranteed goal. I right, got a throw in now. Right, pass is short, Holmes. Holmes on the ball, into Johnson. Johnson trying to spot the pass of someone. Honestly, anyone would be good. It's into Buckley. Buckley takes a shot. Oh, into Holmes. No, into Weirdo, sorry. And now it's back to Buckley. Buckley on the ball. Come on, we need to find a gap. I need to find someone open here, folks. Buckley passes short to Holmes. Holmes takes a touch, takes a shot. Oh, bloody hell. They eject this goalkeeper with fucking steroids the second half. Oh, it's another save from Evans. And keeping Tottenham Town in this game. Okay, they've got the ball in the midfield. Come on, Ali. Good work. Good tackle. Through balls it into Smith. Smith, he has Norman to his right. Smith passes a short. Norman, come on, Norman. Take the... Oh, what was that? Good save, yes, but all right. Never mind. Shot saved again. Oh, shot saved again. For fuck's sake. Why? This is so annoying. Now they're going to get on the top. Good tackle. Holmes, through balls into Smith. I see Norman, but no, go for yourself. Smith scores. Thank fuck. Holy crap. That was just 
intense for the first five, I don't know, two minutes of that game. Holy crap, shit animation, Snorbin should have popped that in. Gonzalo tried to redeem him by the shots, and then Smith just thought, no more sweat, it's going in. Kids, if you want a life lesson, no sweating. Ramsey on that ball, twisting round, pass a short into Holmes. Holmes threw balls into Walker, Walker, twist his way through, spots the pass, oh, Holmes saved, no, shot saved off the other post now, anything else happened now? Holy crap, headed, into Holmes, Holmes, shot, good catch from the keeper. Bloody hell, 90th minute, how many minutes? Three minutes. Holmes' shots were just getting saved. Gonzalo's shots were getting saved off the post. It's just unbelievable from that keep. I need to look him up. Actually, no, I've got boys called. And he's not talking about that. We've got one more minute. One more minute, and they've got the last attack. Over the top through ball. I think it's too heavy for him. No, nope, it's not. Get rid of it. Oh, thank goodness. Holmes on the ball. It's a really clear. And it's full time. We have secured silverware for the third season. The Papa John's trophy. It's not the best trophy. I will admit that. But still, it's a trophy. And it's a trip to Wembley. And all those Cornish fans are supporting their club, Lou Wanderers. And that is enough for them to just be over the moon. I, I'm just talking crap. I'm just exhausted. That game was very, very intense. But the price was worth it as we're going up for the trophy woods oh yeah black and yellow as always on that trophy stepping up we're gonna go walking for it now and oh you know what that charlton town did good good effort but the second half we were better as we're gonna step up lifts hold that trophy woods oh champions in the efl trophy we have secured it Whew. Oh, I need to take a breather. Anyone got any cigarettes? Uh, I don't endorse cigarettes, by the way. Uh, well, we're going off celebrating with that trophy. Let's hope my promotion race into the championship isn't as intense as this game right here. Whew. As we're going into our second live game against Chow and Athletic. Why Chow and Athletic? We need one more win to secure promotion. Yep. It just had to be against Charlton Athletic. I uh, You can't write this stuff. The team that I did my first ever career mode on my channel with had to be the team that I just have to beat to secure promotion into the championship. Lou Wanderers have been dominating against Charlton Athletic. We have to go back to the Valley. Oh my God, I ain't said that in a while. We have to go back to the Valley. Can we pull off the win to secure championship football? Let's go into the live game. Five minutes in. John Athletic passing a short. Lovely football. And the gap's right here. They're going to get a shot off. And it's a good save from Boyce Clark. Oof, has they still got the ball. No, good defenders blocked. They've gone to the corner. Okay, into Holmes. Holmes takes a lovely touch. Holmes. All right, trying to cross it in. Gonzalo! Oh! That's even a better save. Damn it. All right. What good chances either way. Quarter. Over. I was going to say, good chances either way. As it's still on level. Okay, they've got the ball. 39th minute. Half time. It's just round the corner. Passing it short. Oh, good tackle. Akeems. Oh, Akeems, you're passing the wrong person. Three balls into Morgan. 1-0. One, One awful pass from me. And Chow and Athletic have absolutely caught me red-handed. Oh, shite. This is not the best start. 1 0 Charon Athletic. Johnson holding off that ball into Smith. Smith. Oh, Smith doing well. Come on, Smith. Go on, Smith. Smith. Oh, got tackled last minute. It's half time. Just about to blow. Any minute. Yep, half time. 1 0 Charon Athletic. All right, first half over. Not the best results. Charon Athletic just caught me at a bad time. I just think that. Just need to push on. We just need to just get that few chances in. And maybe, maybe that's enough. I, I don't know. I'm just getting bored up now. Yeah, you know what? Let's just, me stop rambling. Let's go into the second half. Johnson on that ball. Through balls it into Smith. Smith takes a lovely touch. Smith holding off now. Dribbles way through. Smith doing fantastic. Oh, it's a short. It's a Norman. Norman makes it 1-1. One, one. Woo! Get in. It's beautiful run from Smith. And Nortman just had to be the first to finish off that chance. 
1 1, all level, but we got to push on. We've got to go for a winner. All right, Ghibli over the top through ball into Blacklit Taylor. Sorry. Oh my god, they got a chance. Good block. Come on. No, no. Oh, pass is short. All right. Holmes on the ball. Let's get him on the counter. Oh my god, he got slaughtered. Davidson short. It is 2 1. Oh my god, someone check on Holmes. Is he all right? Does he need mouth to mouth? Someone give him mouth to mouth. He just got absolutely slaughtered in there. Oh no, Charlie Defletti take the lead, but someone look after Holmes. All right, boys Clark, gonna throw it long into Buckley. Buckley on the ball, trying to swap the pass. I see no one. Oh, he's passing to Gonzalo. Gonzalo, gonna go for a lovely run here. Come on, Gonzalo. Gonzalo, oh, jumps over. Oh, unlucky. Smith, though. Smith twists his way through. Avage is given. Gonna cross it in instead. And Gonzalo gets his head onto there. Woo, 2-2. Two, two. Equaliser from the Portuguese winger. Good win, able to keep the ball, not until he lost it. And then Smith crossed it in and the perfect run, able to tap it in. 2-2, two, two, all square again, but as I just said, we need to go for the win. MSC, oh god, I missed that guy. Oh, pass it short now. Come on, can we not let them get back in this game? Pass it short, Morgan. Passing it into Ghibli, Milk pass it back to Morgan, and it's 3-2. What the fuck was that for defending? I don't know. They were just passing it so many times and my players just didn't want to step a foot out. And it pays as they take the lead yet again. All right. Johnson into Smith. Smith going to go for a lovely run. On. Oh, my God. He got slaughtered again. Um, oh, what? Oh, he got red carded. You know what? Neat. Okay, it's into, into Weirdy. Weirdy shot gets blocked right there. Buckley on the ball. All right, Buckley, I'll shot to Ramsey. Ramsey dribbles way through. Ramsey's doing fantastic right here. Ramsey gets a shove off the post and in. Oh, great work from the substitute to make it all square again. 3-3. Free, free. What a game we got ourselves on here, folks. Oh, all square yet again. And the fight for promotion is just getting tenser and tenser. We need a goal. We need to get in the lead here, folks. Ramsey on the ball. Ramsey. Right, gonna pass it short into Smith. Smith into Buckley. Buckley into Walker. Walker into Gonzalo. What a one yet in! Finally! Finally! We are able to take the lead over Charlton Athletic at the Valley. Holy crap! 4 3. Good run, and he just had to slot it past the keeper. Okay, Charlton Athletic passing it short. Now, going to go for a shot. Good save. All right. We don't need them to get back in this game. We're going to pass it short. Let's try and get on the counter. Smith. Smith going to go for a run here. Smith, can he beat all those Charlie Athletic defenders? Smith dribbles round them. Oh, I see the run. I see the run of Buckley. 90th minute to make it 5-3. Get in there. That's more than enough to secure promotion, folks. God, fuck. That's it. Game, set, match. All right, we've got ourselves a free kick. One more minute to play. I've added on time and afterwards that's going to be going mad in Cornwall. And Gonzalo going to pass it short into Walker and Walker's just add icing to the cake. 6 3. We were behind three times in that game and yet we were able to beat him 6 3. Maybe the red card was a huge factor. I don't know, but I'll take it. As they kick off from the spot, full time is blown. It is all over. Promotion is secured. I have been so, so shattered playing this game. Holy crap. I can't believe it. Promotion to the championship, folks. Oh, boy. It's going to be a more tense than ever. But no matter what, today is about celebration. They've performed well and they earned the win. And you can show from the final table, we are able to secure the league title. I was going to do a live game about that, but two problems. One, I played the live game, and afterwards I didn't get the trophy at the end of my last home game, so that was complete bollocks. And second, I recorded it, and it was completely static and messed up. So, sadly, no third live game, but we did secure the league title, so... Get in there, I guess it, it's just celebrations no matter what. As we see top goal scorer, Nortman with 40 goals and also 36. So that's also breaking Jordan Rhodes' record. 
with most goals scored in one season in League One. So Nortman is breaking records left, right and centre. Will he be able to do in the Championship? I don't know. As we also see Smith with 31, Walker with 25, Buckley with 14, Ramsey with 10, and Goldsala with 9, Low with 8, and we can see Low if we want. And we're going to go to the assist. Holmes with 21 assists, followed by Buckley with 18, Norman with 16, Weirdy with 14, Smith with 13, Goldsala with 13. You can read on. And final look at the squad. I would say you date myself around. Few changes as we had to drop the left back because he's been an ass. But apart from that, you did great. We're able to wrap it up. We're able to get silverware, the league title, and the Papa John's trophy. So that's just going to be farewell for League One football. Hello, Championship for season number four. I hope you look forward to that because I can't wait. That all said and done, it's time to get on to the outro. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Like it if you enjoy. Comment down below. I'll make sure to reply. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Really does help me out. And as always, I'll see you all later.